Hi, Mark. Uh, welcome back. Been a while, but great to see you. Yeah, been a few weeks. I can't believe where this year is going already. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, without main, without, without much happening, but um, here we are, <laughs> yeah. March, and we started, you know, the program we said had run uh, until the end of February, beginning of March, didn't we? So, so here we are, um, time to sort of uh, bring it to a close and, and 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 start to draw the conclusions that we hoped to be able to draw, I suppose. Yeah, so four months has uh, has flown by when we started the program and. We benchmarked people, didn't we, with an FTP test at the start, and then we have done a, a semi-classic winter build phase for most people. In that um, we haven't specifically dialed into training phases, but we've given a blend of different types of uh, intensities just to bring riders up in many different areas. Right, and uh, I think it's been super interesting so far, hasn't it? The engagements been great um i've certainly learned a lot about people's habits over the winter and and what they do and what what they want to get out of it um it's been brilliant and and i suppose to to draw it to a close so you started to schedule the the ftp sessions haven't you to get the to get the results um of all of that hard work there was a few riders that started off at different times due to one thing or another at the start, and we wanted to keep it the same for everyone. So we started to schedule in 20-minute power tests this week to start getting the results in. But the results will come in over the next uh, two to three weeks, and then we'll get a full picture of, um, uh, of, of how everyone has improved, if, if they have made improvements. <laughs> Uh, and sometimes it's not all about the gains in FTP. You know, we're looking for other statistics as well, such as uh, time to exhaustion and fatigue resistance and efficiency factors and all sorts of different um, different numbers. But the one people focus on is the, uh, the increase in FTP, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's become the sort of fashion, the, the, the Hollywood number, I suppose. Of, uh, yeah, the ones to talk about there. on the pub. <laughs> Yeah, it is, yeah. It? but yeah, yeah. That, that that's kind of what that that's they're the two benchmarks that we're taking, isn't it? But if if people have other um, increased, decreased ch- changes in performance that are tangible, we want to hear about that as well, of course, don't we? Yeah, it'd be interesting as well. You know, now the weather's turned and people can get back out on the roads and start to put efforts in up there up their favourite climbs or around their local circuits or, you know, even at the uh, the first sportive that they do this season. It would be really interesting to hear the real world feedback of how they feel they've progressed over the last four months. That was a big part of what we wanted to be able to talk about, wasn't it? That um, I've trained this way um, <clears throat> in terms of the metrics, this is what difference it, it's made. But actually on the road, um, it's tangible because I was able to do a, a distance I couldn't previously do. I was cr- completing climbs that I would have had to have stopped or pushed, and, and or, or I've gone from this amount of time to that amount of time. And, and I think whilst we aren't eventing right now, we will be soon. And so we, we want to maintain that engagement with the people on the program to to hear those stories um, and be part of, uh, of of enjoying that when the time comes, hopefully about a month away. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cause uh, I mean, the numbers and the statistics and all that can tell us one, only one thing, one part of the picture, but um, yeah, we wanted to, we wanted to improve people's performances on the bike all round, didn't we? And, and make it more comfortable for them riding the longer distances. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why we haven't focused on uh, short duration powers with this, this program it's been mainly about building fatigue resistance and so uh, if you um, are doing your FTP test over the next couple of weeks and finding that maybe you haven't improved your FTP as much as you were expecting you will certainly find that when you take uh, take that out onto the road you will be able to ride um, harder for longer uh, definitely absolutely we want people to keep in touch yeah. Uh, over the next few weeks and months and let us know whether that um th- that is indeed the case yeah that that, that is an important point because whilst whilst we said it was four months and, and was ending around now only in terms of 
the structure of what we were doing. And, and I suppose the people who, some of the engagement from where you've been coaching people that, that can't continue forever. But in terms of um, engagement with us and telling us the stories and, and, and all of that, that continues, nothing changes. It's certainly through us, guys, uh, Vela29, we're keen to hear all of that. Yeah, absolutely. Just you know, send us a message if you uh, if you find yourself having a particularly great day, then um, we'd love to hear about it. Yeah, right. um, yeah. you know, it's, it, hopefully the, this four months has uh, been about building a structure and a routine that riders can uh, carry forward as well. You know, uh, of course, I am here to help people do that in the future if they if they need to, but. Four months is enough time to build um, a routine into your weekly um, schedule. And if people can keep that up going forward through the summer, they will see further results, um, especially if they um, uh, if they start turbocharging their engines now. You know, we've built a really solid engine, and if they start turbocharging that with some high-intensity or um, VO2 intervals and that type of thing, they'll see some really big games over the next few weeks and months wow. yeah yeah that, that would normally be eventing now so we would have talked about adding the turbo charging a little bit earlier but yeah if we assume we're, we're going to be doing those events in april yeah um it's it's time to take that winter base and and, and tweak it up like you say yeah it's been it's been quite a hard part of my job that is trying to second guess when events races and all that type of thing are going to start and then when, when do you keep people for when you don't know the event calendar for the um for the season but you know we'll we'll um we'll hopefully have more clarity on that in the next uh in the next few weeks but it, it is worth saying and, and 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 we didn't plan to sort of do any advertising or anything like that but if people have either worked with you on the program, either as coached or self-coached, um, and are looking for some advice on what to do next. Uh, I know you're super busy, but I guess you have some. You'll always find room for a few more customers, won't you? I'll always find room for a few more customers, but never be afraid to just get in contact with me, even if you just want a little bit of advice, you know, of what you might be needing to do next. I'm not going to ignore people that uh, reach out for help, absolutely. So if you do have any questions, just uh, just fire them through to me and I'll, I'll get them answered for you. That's awesome. No oh, that's kind. Cheers, Matt. That's good. So I think um, keep, we'll get those FTPs in, um, plus all the other feedback that, that, like we say, we're super keen to hear. Um, we'll probably line up a couple of interviews over the next few weeks because we want to hear from guys who maybe we have or haven't spoken to before about what they've been doing and, and, and where they are today. And um, and then we'll, we'll keep this going, I think, until we start events um, and, and we'll talk about the differences and, and, and that, that all important data. So we're not going anywhere. Um, I can see that, you know, at least another six weeks until we get to an event, we'll have some stuff happening around the programme. So, yeah, keep watching, guys, and uh, and thank yeah, you so much for taking part. And if um, if the self coached riders have a look in their training peaks, either this week or next week, they will see a, a, an FTP test scheduled in for them. Um, unless, of course, I, I did have a look through at what they were doing, and if they are in the middle of a training phase, then I have left the FTP test out. Obviously, you don't want to be. Uh, doing a 20 minute effort in the middle of something specific that you're doing so um, yeah if you wait until the end of your training phase if you're working to a particular block then uh, test after that and I will um, have a look at the results then we know how much you love doing FTPs everybody yeah. <laughs> and we did the short one we could have said the full hour couldn't we so. <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely well if people want to do that crack on <laughs> <laughs> unlikely yeah <laughs> cool all right well thank you mark uh really great to see you again after what what's been quite a while and and thank you to everybody um who's taken part keep watching this space because we've got some more stuff coming over the next few weeks about the program but yeah get those ftps done send in the data and uh we can't wait to hear about your performances on the road coming hopefully quite soon cool bye everybody bye mark see you soon yeah, thank you